drag to me is about performance and not necessarily um, stage performance, not necessarily like musical number performance, but um, the way you hold your hands when you drink a drink and the way that you hold your shoulders and the way your voice kind of lightens up or um, the way you kind of like access the weird depths of your personality and, and you're on, you know. For me it's about turning all these different switches in your body and uh, living as a different person for a few hours. All right, cheers to him. Let's get this fucker started. I feel like the Scarlet crowd isn't really going to Scarlet to see typical drag. I think they're kind of expecting something a little different. They're both hosted by Tranica, so they kind of have that same, like, goofy, ridiculous vibe, which drag is a little bit goofy and ridiculous, so... She's horrible on the mic. Yeah. <laughs> She's completely sober, that's why. She's out of her sword. She's not even high. I like to hit the different marks, too. Uh, there needs to be like a burlesque girl and like a, uh, you know, Shea Coulee. There needs to be a darker girl, Ruby D. Um, there needs to be, you know, like an amazing dancer. There needs to be maybe a little bit of pageanty girl. Um, and I think when you hit all those different marks, it keeps the audience, like, you know, interested. You keep pushing me aside, I can't break through. There's no talking to you. I'm so sad that you're leaving. Yeah, I've always been an entertainer. I was, like, in musical theater when I was a kid and everything. But I, like, I was more fascinated with the female roles than I was with the male roles. But I like, um... The transformation, because I'm a professional uh, hairdresser, so I get to do it every day on other people, transform them, but like this is, you know, a little bit different. It's a, it is an art form. It's like a moment, like I stepped off that stage and I was just like, this is cute to me, I like drag. <laughs> So now it's like my passion. It's nice to have that, and it's nice to have this own like personal little community every month that you kind of meet together and just get like really drunk and have fun. So. This is uh, my very fabulous squirrel friend, Tranica Rex. This is her birthday, so... Ew! Uh, ew is right. <laughs> there once was a girl named Denise, whose pussy hair hung to her knees. Her crabs got together and knitted her a sweater, and now her pussy don't freeze. Happy Especially Tranica's show. Anything that she's in, she's gonna say some bullshit about, you know. We always have to make fun of ourselves. This is Heidi Von Kumpfrat, everybody! I know her name is terrible, and you should see her in drag. It gets worse. It gets worse. A lot of the people that go to the drag shows are drag queens themselves, either amateur or otherwise. Um, and then there are people, like most of the people that I see at shows, like I see them at multiple shows. And like for instance, Tranica's Most Wanted, most of the people that are there are drag queens in Chicago. Or, they so if you've ever done drag before, wait for it. Please raise your hand. Bloop, 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 bloop. 
<laughs> Not like in your house, like for the mirror. All right, come up to the stage. At the next um, House of Donkey, we will be having uh, a little lady by the name of <laughs> Kimchi. Kimchi. Do you guys get it? She's Asian. <laughs> Subtle, huh? Uh, Tronica's most wanted was the one where I had the most fun. All the girls were just like joking and having so much fun, just like helping each other backstage. There was no tension or anything. It's no, like a one big to... slutty family, you know? Yeah, well, they're slutty, I'm not. But... <laughs> <laughs> you still gotta make your money in between so you perform at bars. When you tip a drag queen, a lot of it goes into, you know, do you know the drag queen personally? <laughs> I want to come to my funeral. <laughs> 